Hi guys, this is Christina with Pildura, and today I'm gonna to tell you why Fashion Week is not sustainable. I'm here in New York City, and just a couple weeks ago, we had New York Fashion Week. This season, we have a new sense of how much carbon is being emitted by fashion and clothing collections moving around our planet. About 241,000 tons, or enough to power Times Square for 58 years, which is pretty crazy. And that's according to a new report called Zero to Market that was published in the New York Times. And I'm sorry to say, but Fashion Week in just New York City accounted for 37% of all these emissions. So the question arises, why are we still doing this? Fashion Weeks are inherently not sustainable. They're big sets, they're fancy, they're built up, they're torn down, and it's a 10 minute, 15 minute, 20 minute spectacle that is just basically a bunch of materials and even garments that end up in landfill. Guests fly around the world, jumping from fashion week to fashion week in airplanes with swag bags and leaving trails of water bottles behind them. Nevertheless, some people are actually making changes. Stella McCartney, for example, had a round table before their last fashion show on how they could make it more sustainable. A lot of brands have had carbon neutral fashion shows, so that's kind of their way to try to make it more sustainable. Copenhagen Fashion Week just launched a set of 17 sustainable standards to see if a brand or a company is sustainable enough to walk in their show in 2020. But all of these initiatives, water bottle bands and panels and round tables, I don't feel like they're really gonna fix what's rotten in the fashion industry. The world that Fashion Week was created for no longer really exists. Powerful magazines and amazing, glossy, fabulous department stores, that whole world is, is slowly melting away. Instead, these fashion shows and these moments, these garments are all just being really created now for an Instagrammable moment. A lot of conscious brands today are actually taking a break from Fashion Week, choosing to show at a random time in the year or actually not to show at all and just taking time to actually focus more on their brand and marketing their more classic pieces. A fashion show used to also serve to entertain influencers and editors, but even those people are actually starting to pull out from wanting to be at these sorts of experiences. And a new thing is kind of coming up that's called JOMO, which is the joy of missing out on these kinds of events, which is actually something that I experienced at this past fashion week. And I think I went to one show and I really didn't even have a good time because it's just a bunch of people really just packed into a room. It's just like phones up in the air. Like nobody's even present in that moment, enjoying the experience when you can't even see, unless you're like on the front row, you can't even like see what's going on there. And nothing about it really feels authentic. It doesn't feel fashionable to me. It feels very fake. And honestly, it just feels like it's for Instagram. That is not fashion. So it's called a fashion show, but what is it really? It's like an Instagram show. A lot of influencers and editors and people that really, I guess, matter are now having publicists just send garments and accessories or whatever the brand's trying to sell just directly to their houses. So this is why it's not even necessary for them to be at actual fashion shows. The Swedes actually canceled Fashion Week last year, citing sustainability concerns, and they haven't brought it back. And I think it, a lot of more people are gonna start doing this. So the question arises, can Fashion Week still be used for good? Should it still exist at all? And I believe that there are ways where it can be and you can use your platform for good. One example of this is in New York City. There was a alternative show produced by one of my favorite people here in New York. His name is Zero Waste Daniel. And he had a show that was all about comedy. The show it was all sustainable. He's a designer that makes all of his garments out of upcycled materials and um, fab scraps. So his show was all an, an immersive experience with activists involved of all kinds, model activists asking the question, who killed fashion? And this is a really incredible use of a fashion show because you're kind of raising an important question about sustainability, immersing people in something about consciousness and actually delivering a message that's really important for people to hear. And I think that's one way in which fashion shows should continue to exist. However, on the whole, I would say that the most sustainable fashion show that you can have is just not having a fashion show at all for most brands. And just allowing designers and brands to slow down, take a breath, uh, create their classical pieces and to take time to focus on their brand and what really matters and not making this Instagrammable moments on a bunch of people that don't actually care about their brand or their fashion. They just want to be seen there and giving us as consumers time to focus on what really matters and value the garments, value the clothing. So that's my little spiel on why Fashion Week is not sustainable and how I feel the evolution of Fashion Week should go. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to 
Mashpil on Fashion Week. Don't forget to subscribe to the Peeled Art channel and tune in for our next video.